and this page here you can see has a title of brushes it's going to be um, a kind of an index page of brushes for GIMP sort of like Photoshop brushes now I wanted a filter so a user can search for an individual brush that they want as you can see I put color pigment that's the first one I've been working on and there's tree line brushes the rest are just sort of Laura Mips and site um, sections cards that are ready for me to add to there's only actually two sort of rows but I'm gonna have about 10 or even more as it goes on probably more so I wanted to work on a search button that has a filter that will filter them out so if I was looking for colour pink you can just open up here very very basic search button with a search placeholder haven't styled it or anything yet with CSS I'm going to do that later I just want to see if it would work I hadn't done this for a while i have done it before on a site and it worked so I'm doing it again so I'm going to take a look at the code now and here we are right this is the script jQuery script script that dollar sign selector document ready function selector my input okay on that was inside the box search just like a placeholder my input type text so when a user writes in there my input is attached to an ID of my input go back to that script it's here here's another selector my list list so the way I'm going to try and filter them out is by nesting everything in lists so the second time I've done this on a site so here we have unordered list this is the start of it UL which is unordered ID my list so the list now has an ID so that ID is now attached here selector in commons co um, commas my list and that hashtag attaches it my list list function okay so the rest of that script is a script for filtering it out only showing it basically so but you've always got to remember because I forgot the other day is to attach this this script here script source hypertext transfer protocol to that jQuery library I forgot to put that in yesterday and it wasn't working I forgot jQuery's like an online library yeah so you've got to uh, put that in as well down here in this, I'd written all this out before with CSS columns they're in containers etc so the start of each section is a list and the end of that section a four end of list tag another one start list tag end list tag and that's the end list the, sorry end 
closing, closing tag is what I meant. The closing unordered list tag. You've got to have a closing tag. I've only got two rows. I'm going to have quite a lot. It could be 20, 30, 40, you're not certain yet. I'm making a site for add-ons, brushes, kits, gradients, fonts, whatever. So people might want to filter them out, to search, they're searching for an individual item. So I'm, I'm doing this again. I know I made a video before on this, but it's just slightly different. The last one was easier, the last one I done was easier because they were lists working down much easier I just couldn't find a way of doing this on an individual one so when you filter when you filter it will just be one row it will be the whole row but that shouldn't matter that shouldn't bother anyone okay so that's the way to do it let's um I'm going to preview that in the browser Okay, here we are. Brushes. Here's this search button box. Very rudimentary. That'll be centered and styled with CSS um, later on. I can't seem to. Okay problems with my scroll bar I'm probably trying to show you there's two rows right so if I type in here there's nothing underneath so this this would work no matter how many you had. So if I had 200 rows of brushes and so on, my input is is down here. That's the search button. Here in the jQuery is the selector with my list. Unordered list ID my list. There will be lists nested in that. The button and the list is HTML. That goes in the that goes within the body. Okay. 